From the Big Ten to the NSIC we go, where the region's ninth-ranked Winona State Warriors hosted the region's seventh-ranked Augustana Vikings in a senior day matchup loaded with playoff implications. First quarter, no score, the Vikings on the attack, but Kyle Sadler's pass is picked off by NFL prospect Nick Pridgen and watch the 6'5", 240-pounder go, gliding for the last 40 yards of an 85-yard pick six. Warriors up 7-0 early. Next drive, Warriors looking for more. Third down and 10. QB Owen Burke goes down in a heap. He appeared to injure his right leg. He would leave the game and not return WSU self for a field goal. Took a 10-0 lead. After that, the Vikings started their comeback. Later in the quarter, Sadler finds a wide open Drew Reinschmidt in the end zone. Touchdown, Augie, WSU lead. Cut to 10-7 later in the half. WSU now up 13-10. Augustana takes the lead. Great pass from Sadler. He finds Devin Jones, hauls it in. That's a touchdown. WSU trailed 17-16 at the break. The Warriors cannot hold on to their early lead. They fall at home 26-25. Augustana scoring on a 30-yard TD pass in the final minute to seal the win. An absolute heart-wrencher for Tom Sawyer and company. Now, from college to high school football, we go where the state quarterfinals resume today as teams tried to punch their ticket to the state semifinals at U.S. Bank Stadium. We will start in Class 5A with the two-time defending state champion Owatonna Huskies. Huskies entering the game on a 29-game win streak, taking on St. Thomas Academy late in the second quarter. No score. Huskies punting. The cadets Oscar Berg blocks the punt, and St. Thomas recovers. Three plays later, Danny McFadden punches it in for St. Thomas. Owatonna trailed 7-0 at the break. Third quarter, the Cadets put on an 18-play drive. They cap it off with a 19-yard touchdown. Love Adebayo running like a chicken with his head cut off, but it worked. So for the first time in two years, Class 5A will have a new state champion. Owatonna is shut out by St. Thomas Academy 21-0 to snap their 29-game win streak. The Cadets will face Elk River next Saturday in the semifinals. Next, down to AAA Section 1 champion Wasika looking to make some noise this year in the 3A playoffs, taking on Jackson County Central. First quarter, no score. The Jays find Pater first. Uh, Denver Daniels scores the game's opening points. Wasika up 7-0 early. Later in the quarter, same score. Jackson County on the attack, but check out Ryan Dufault coming up with the INT. Wasika would cash in on the turnover. They took a 14 to nothing lead, but Jackson County Central would not be deterred later in the half. Great piece of running here from Bradley Buell Jr. Carrying a platoon of defenders into the end zone. Wasika's season is over. They lose to undefeated Jackson County Central 31-21. JCC will face Piers next, who lost to Lourdes in the state semifinals a year ago. Staying in AAA, 8-1, Section 4, champion Cannon Falls taking on Dassel Cocado for a trip to U.S. Bank Stadium and the state semifinals. Third quarter, Bombers up 15-13, looking to add to their lead. Trenton Mathies gets to the outside and nearly takes it to the house before being tackled from behind. A few plays later, QB Jack Domeyer pounds it in from short yardage. Cannon Falls up 22-13, but... Dassel Cocado had come back on their minds. QB Sanders Asplund keeps the ball on the option. Watch him go. He shed would be tacklers like he was getting out of dodge. Insane effort there for the touchdown. Bombers lead cut to 22 20. Cannon falls. Loses one game short of U.S. Bank Stadium. The Chargers complete the comeback 26 to 22, but what a season for Dan Myers and company. Down in Class A, how about this? The good people of Blooming Prairie are going to Minneapolis next week. The Awesome Blossoms beat Springfield 42 to 20 in a matchup of the number two and number three teams in the state. The win earns BP a date with fourth ranked Ada Borup next Saturday, 11:30 a.m. at the bank. Now from the gridiron to the XL Energy Center we go, where top-ranked and top-seeded Stewartville look to win their first state volleyball championship since 2014 when they took on North Branch. This match would go the distance, but we'll start in set one. Stewartville trying to establish control. It's Joey Stetcher coming up with the kill for the Tigers. Later, North Branch would respond as Chiana Selbitska plucking that one out of the rafters. She slams it home. This match was tied at one after two sets. Later, more North Branch. This time, it's Paige Peasley coming up with the kill for the Vikings, but 
Stewartville showed their medal today. First watch Kentucky commit Aaron Lamb. Nasty on the serve. Then later, more Lamb. This time, she's at the net. Coming up, Jaden Brower with the set. Lamb sends it to the back corner. And then still later, how about one more? This time, it's reigning athlete of the week, Caitlin Pronzinski. Stewartville pretty much goes wire to wire as number one team in the state. They beat North Branch 3-2 to two for the AA state title. This has been an emotional year this year. Um, we had everybody back except one. So the expectations from the start were pretty high. Their expectations were, start, were high from the start. And sometimes, you know, all the hard work and stuff doesn't pay off and, and you get to the end and it's not there anyway, but it was there tonight. So this is pretty darn special. And lastly, check it out, Hoops fans. Michael Hurd and the Golden Gophers taking on Oklahoma out in Sioux Falls. First half off the turnover. Marcus Carr takes it coast to coast for the lay-in. He had a team I-16, but Oklahoma was keeping this one a contest. Austin Reeves finds Kerr Karath for the alley-oop slam to tie it. Reeves finished with 11 points in the game. Later, he drives in the lane to bring it within one. The Ghosts drop to one and one. They lose 71 to 62. And Matty Barra up some sports here on a Saturday. A lot Just of a casual on. Saturday. I know, yeah, it was me. <laughs> our photographer, Micah Hagen, is a little bit of help from our friends over at CARE 11. We had a mini sports extra for you. When we loved it. I know, great, I know. So are the people, work. I hope. Absolutely. It was all for you. All for you guys. <laughs> Thanks, Mark.